Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick blade and sorcery tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the local multiplayer mod but be able to use it over the internet with some of your friends. The first and most important thing we should do is go over here to files and make sure that you get the most recent one updated September 4th of this year and it says requires 8.3. Don't go for any of these other ones. Make sure you get the current one. Once that has been installed, you're going to install another extension. So quickly follow along. We're going to go into Google and look up something called Parsec. Parsec enables you to play games with someone that's not in the same room with you on your PC. So just go to their main website and you'll see right here, want to start playing? Download now. Once you have downloaded Parsec, you can actually open it as a dedicated app on your computer. So this way you don't have to run it in a web browser. You'll see my name up here because I'm logged in and you'll see my little desktop here. But more importantly, you're gonna to want to make sure that the person you're playing with is your friend. So have them create their account and send you a friend request via here as well. Once the game is up and running, you can send your friend a quick invite or you could just decide to share your screen with them and give them full control over your mouse and keyboard. Make sure you do this with someone that you know and trust because they can get a lot of access to your machine so don't be dumb when you do that just a quick tip once you have those two things done what i want you to do is return back to the nexus page and go to the description for the local multiplayer this will give you a lot of tips for how this works yes there is a ton of different controls here but this is the most important thing to do. You need to make sure that you go into spectator mode and spectator mode is when you press F3 in the game and this is once the mod is installed. So you'll go into spectator mode with F3 and this is what the other person does when they're connected via Parsec. They press F3 and then they can inhabit the NPCs by pressing X and you'll now have control. So the VR player will still be in VR and see VR, but the people connecting via locally over the internet will be able to control keyboard and mouse on their unit simultaneously while controlling it on yours. And make sure you are looking at things like the controls. It'll give you a whole bunch of things. Yes, there's a ton of stuff that you can do. Drawing the bow is, is very difficult and shooting things is difficult, but it's more about being able to play with people. So either write down or memorize some of your more favorite controls that you can do as an NPC, but it, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you're not gonna win as the NPCs. It's just how the game is built. <laughs> you're gonna get wrecked by the VR player. If you wanna change any of these controls, you can actually open the JSON files right here in the levelmaster.json and change the things if you want. But just keep in mind, the more you mess around with things, the difficult it's gonna be if you run into an issue and need help. Just make sure you also go through any of these troubleshooting steps that you may see. Uh, things like verify the install bat. Try your best not to use any mods with this at first, for, with your first time. But if you are going to use mods, make sure you introduce one mod at a time. This way it doesn't get inundated and your whole computer explodes. So that's how you install the local multiplayer mod. And once again, using Parsec and connecting with your friends one at a time is how you're going to play online with people. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope that you guys are able to do this because this is a ton of fun with friends. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, join the Discord. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Other than that, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content and I will see you in the next video.